yet another lazy MTV ride, although this one will be a little bit less lazy because we're climbing an actual mountain. Yes, I'm back at Snowdon. The thing is, I'm doing this for the 13th time and I might just be getting a little bit cocky. We drive up on the Friday because there's a tiny little weather window where it's clear and dry. As I arrived Friday evening with little time to do the mountain, I discovered that's the state of my front tyre. Another day, another ride, another country. Well, it's Wales, it's another country now. And I've got Nigel Horwood behind me. First time doing Snowdon. I'll put the correct name in text below. Oh my God. So, right down there, is the halfway point but it's not the halfway point because actually that's about a quarter of your effort and then you it gets harder and harder so when you get to the cafe you've got three quarters of your effort left there's Nige coming up this little bit of rain will just be the rain in this cloud that we're literally standing in we're standing in a cloud so it's hardly surprising that it's raining so the scary bit is the sun is going down onto the horizon and we don't have any proper lights we've got to cut lead torches that's it now i can tell you from personal experience it's an extremely bad idea to get caught out anywhere near the summit at sunset unless you have some really good lights and even then it's probably not a good idea Ooh. Now, many of you would have already ridden the Rangers, and you'll know there's some pretty mega tech. Yes! Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I rode that bit. Oh, my God. After 13 times of doing Snowden, I've only managed yeah, to ride bad. that section maybe three or four times. As long as you're careful not to fall off that side, basically you can ride down these edge rocks now. Now, as usual, GoPro's pretty deceiving. The drop off the side of the rocks is a lot worse than it looks. So when you ride those edge rocks, just make sure you fall right if you're gonna fall at all. Now, riding up that section took a long time, felt really hard, but coming back down, it's over in seconds. Oh, I see that's my store of a run's gone. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the bit, I'm not gonna get drone out because it's raining, but this is the bit where you could get brake fade. I have in the past experienced fairly bad brake fade and Snowden but it tends to happen when you're doing a full-on run from the top non-stop. Not if you take breaks, set up drones, have a chat or anything like that. I'm gonna have to tell you, GoPro does a fantastic job at making all the rooks look tiny. This is just a gravel path, no. That's just how GoPro sees it. This part here runs from pretty mild braking to really heavy braking. And the brakes are already hot and that's when you might have issues. Don't even attempt Snowden without brakes that are in really good condition. We're going from fast to technical and some of the best views. Oh, 
I absolutely love this stuff. If you have any problems in your life, they're gone. You're focused. You're looking at the scenery. You're looking at the rocks. There's nothing else on your mind but here and now. ever ridden rangers before you'll know that some of these sections they just look so easy on drone but the reality is they're really incredibly hard and not that many people can actually ride them all the thing that's been worrying me about rangers is it's been getting easier and easier, more and more sanitized. The challenge just isn't there anymore. I used to look at it like maybe one day I can ride it all, but now I'm already there. It's just not that hard anymore. Apart from that bit. <laughs> now the reality is, yes, they've done some work and it has got a bit easier, but in part, I've just become a better rider of rocks. And now, yeah, I can ride all but the odd three foot. Don't be deceived by my video, because it ain't easy. I'm telling you that 100%. It's gonna challenge even the most experienced riders. Sometimes I wonder about drones and GoPros. It's almost like, let's get a sports camera and make sports look rubbish. It's definitely a lot harder when you're there and you need to be aware of that if this is gonna be your first time riding Rangers. It just isn't going to be as easy as this looks. Oh. 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 These are actually my favorite sections though. It kind of blows my mind that in just a year or maybe two, that I've gone from walking to riding these bits. Cool, well done mate. Well, for the, the five metres I rode of it. <laughs> mate, it's your first time, what do you think? Uh, they've actually, uh, either I've got a lot better or they made it a little bit easier. He um, said they've done some work on it. Because there was a bit down there that I just could not ride before and now I rode everything. I, I, only, I walked three steps, everything else I rode. I put my foot down loads, but Nigel's just messing about. He did amazingly well on his first attempt. Ranger's true route carries on down to a road on the other side of this valley, but it's just as sanitized as this path, which is called Telegraph Row. But don't say that to a local. 
this used to be a beautiful single track just as fast as it is now there's hardly ever any people on it so i really can't understand why they've ruined it turning it into virtually a road now my drone can't actually do more than 35 miles an hour so i'm limited but it is possible to do 40 down here but just don't do it when there's any people around coming down snowden's a lot of fun and it's easy to get carried away and frankly i'd forgotten all about how bad my front tire was or that my rear wheel was feeling a little bit wobbly i was just sending it and having so much fun I didn't realise my rear wheel was a write-off and my front tyre about to explode. Well, now just got back from Snowden. Hmm, fair to say the tyres are not looking all that good. Pretty sure that's not supposed to do that. And there's also play in the shop. So we'll be doing a little bit of work. New tyre, a couple of new wheels, new shock, maybe a new fork. Mountains, pretty hard on mics.